Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Larson and welcome to the video. We're talking about chronic inflammation. It's one of the hot topics right now. It's been in the news for you know about 13 years. Time Magazine did a piece on it back in 2004, I think it was, is when this was. Uh, February of 2004. And you see here, uh, can we cure aging has to do with inflammation as well. Um, and the secret killer, talking about inflammation. Now, this is not inflammation on like a, a shoulder or a knee or sprained ankle or something like that. I'm talking about inflammation of every single cell in your body. The root, like it says here, the root of where chronic conditions, chronic diseases come from, brain fog, digestive issues, whatever it might be, is chronic inflammation. Now, you have trillions of cells in your body, 50 trillion, 75 trillion, 100 trillion, whatever it might be for you, you have a lot of cells in your body. So we're going to take a, a journey into this and look into your cells. So here's your cell, and we're going to take this piece right here. This is called your cell membrane, okay? So we're going to take this piece right here, blow it up, and this is what we get. We get this cell membrane right here. It's a double layer of fat, and this is going to be very, very important. Now you see right here, we have a receptor. Now a, a, a receptor will bind hormones, it will bind vitamins, minerals, all kinds of things that your cells need to take inside of itself. Okay, Think of your cells as little people pretty much. Little use because that's what they are. And this is where all life takes place is at this cell membrane. Here's a hormone over here. You can see the hormone is going to bind to this receptor and then tell the cell what to do and get all the way over here to your DNA or your genes. And this is really one of the main reasons why you're not doomed to your genetics. The question is, is this process working correctly how it should? And sadly, in a lot of people, it's not. And that's why we get these genetic problems being expressed. A whole other video there. But what happens if this cell membrane gets inflamed? What happens now? We have in chronic inflammation of this cell membrane. Now, I have a special test that I do in my office. It measures the cell membrane for, for inflammation. It's 50 times more accurate than a blood test. And I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, the vast majority of people, 90 some percent that come into my office, chronically inflamed cell membranes. It does not matter how many hormones you have in your blood. It doesn't matter any of that because what matters is can that hormone in the blood bind to your cell and be taken in, into the cell. That's all that matters. So you might be taking hormone replacements or bioidentical or doing all these different things, yet your cells are completely inflamed and not letting that process work. These receptors get blunted like it shows here. So inflammation blunts those receptors. It's, it slows down and stops that process from happening in every single cell in your body. So basically, your cells can't hear the hormones anymore, right? The hormone's there, it just can't hear it anymore. Now, cells are like engines. I like to you know, use um, car analogies. I grew up working on cars all the time. I like to fix things, right? I like to fix people, help people get fixed, and you know, just tinker and work on things. So car engines are very, very similar to cells in your body. Here's our nice Corvette engine. So what does this engine need to function? Obviously fuel, air, and spark. Now think of this as your cell. This, it needs the same thing to function. It needs fuel, so that'd be like sugars, glucose, fat, things like that. It needs oxygen or air, and it needs a spark to make it all work. What's that spark? Nervous system. Your nervous system electrical impulses make that whole cell work. But there's one more thing that comes from this, right? We get exhaust. Exhaust comes from this entire process, whether it's in a car or whether it's in the human body. The exhaust has to happen. You have to remove toxins from your body. So in, in the cell, we have the cell membrane. And nutrients have to cross this membrane to do the work inside the cell. Hormones have to cross there. This has to be a very fluid membrane, letting the right things in and keeping the wrong stuff out. But toxins also have to get out. Toxins that your cell makes from its combustion, from its burning of energy and creating energy in the cell. But when you have inflammation, it's like putting up a brick wall right there. 
because now nutrients can't get in, toxins can't get out, so what you get is this toxic waste dump of a cell. So you can be doing, you know, colon cleansing, you can be doing liver flushes, you can be doing all this great stuff, you can be putting good food in your body and your cells are inflamed and they're a toxic waste dump because you have to go deeper than that. It's not enough anymore in 2017. Now, one thing that happens from this process, toxins go up, right? Something called glutathione goes down. It's abbreviated GSH, as you see. Now, it's your body's number one antioxidant. Very, very, very powerful. It's about 5,000 times stronger than any other antioxidant. And to measure how strong an antioxidant is, you look at how many electrons it has to donate. Now, most people have heard of vitamin E being an antioxidant of some kind, right? So it has three extra electrons to donate. Vitamin C is an antioxidant as well. Five extra electrons, so it has more antioxidant power than vitamin E. But what about glutathione? Your cells make this, and it has one million extra electrons to donate. So it's very, very strong, and your body makes it. But if your cell membrane is inflamed, and you're building up poisons and toxins inside of there, your cells can't recover from that, right? And your glutathione production goes down. <clears throat> And it's how your cells get rid of toxins as well. So it's like, a, it's like this whole you know, vicious circle, right? So uh, cell, cell membrane, cell inflammation goes up, glutathione goes down, toxins go up as well because cell membrane inflammation. But because glutathione is down, you can't get rid of toxins anymore, so that goes up even higher. So it's a vicious circle all the way around. Now, another thing that happens with this process is energy production goes down in the cell. So we have ATP, energy production, it goes down. ATP is made in your mitochondria. You have a, about 2,500 of these per cell, except for red blood cells. And they're your energy factories, very, very important. But one thing to remember, here's our double membrane cell membrane here on the cell. There's a membrane right here as well, around each one of these mitochondria that's actually more sensitive to inflammation than this membrane right here. You can see that here, we put the red around there. So you get this energy loss because, again, toxins are building up, nutrients can't get in, the right things can't happen anymore because you have cell inflammation. Now there's three causes of chronic inflammation, three, three main ones that we talk about. And number, no, number one, poor dietary habits. So your, people are eating the wrong kind of fats. We have trans fats, we have these bad fats. And remember, your cell membrane is made up of fat. It's very important to get the right fats in. Um, and sugars as well. Grain brains, right? Grainaholics. People are just eating so much grain and sugar and sweet things. Even, you know, even a lot of like commercial yogurts and things have all kinds of added sugars in them. So sugar damages the cell membrane. Number two, chronic infections. Now notice I said chronic here. Most people that I see are harboring all kinds of weird chronic infections in them, and they're not being addressed. This is not something that's an acute infection, right? Like I have a cold or I have something like that. We're talking about fungal infections, parasitic infections, you know, chronic viruses like Epstein-Barr or cytomegalovirus, uh, things like that. Chronic infections are rampant in people. And then the third category here is non-living toxins. So, we are massively exposed to these things. I mean, just massive. We're talking about mercury. We're talking about lead. We're talking about cadmium and aluminum and, and copper. And we're talking about toluene and benzene and tetraethylpyrophosphate. Um, you know, that's an, insect, in, an insecticide that gets sprayed around houses and different things. You know, it's just so much on the rise how many chemicals that we have in our environment today and they're damaging our cell membranes, they're damaging our cells, they're damaging the mitochondria and they're not working how they're supposed to. So we have to have a, a guided direction of a detoxification type program that supports the body on a, you know, on an all system level down to the cell level. And that's one thing that I help my patients do is, is we get down to these two things right here. A lot of people are changing some of these things by the time they get to me. But these two things here are very, very hard to do on your own. It, it really takes someone to help guide you with that. So um, non-living toxins, chronic infections, huge, huge for this. You must 
detox the cell to get well. So let's look. Gallbladder flushes, liver flushes, colon cleanses, kidney cleanses, all those things are fantastic on a global level. But if you're not getting all the way to the cell, if you're not improving cell function, you're not getting deep enough. And we, we have to keep going deeper and deeper. It's 2017 now and things are ever escalating and getting faster and faster and faster all the time. So if you want to learn more, drlarson.com, that's with an E. Okay, drlarson.com, if you, if, if you want to learn more, if you enjoyed this video, I make videos um, a lot. Now I'm writing blog posts, different things, and this is where you can get in contact with me as well if you want to you know, schedule a consultation or something like that. So again, I'm Dr. Brent Larson. It was a pleasure making this video for you, and I look forward to doing more and seeing you soon.